Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank Glory you, Jesus. God. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We want to welcome everyone to Word of the Lamb Worldwide Ministries, the official church without walls, feeding your faith. And doubt will starve. We welcome each and every one of you to our Revival 2021, where our theme is I Am Legal. And we'd like to invite you to our weekly services. And you can see them Monday through Sunday on our website at www.wordofthelamb.org. And for questions and membership, and if you'd like to send us a praise report or a prayer request, please do so at word of the lamb at outlook.com. Bienvenidos esta noche a Word of the Lamb Worldwide Ministries, la iglesia oficial sin paredes. Gracias por estar con nosotros esta noche en donde le damos a comer a tu fe y no le damos a comer a duda. Nosotros tenemos servicios los lunes, estudios bíblicos a las 7 de la noche. Los martes y los jueves tenemos oración a las 7 de la noche. También el miércoles estamos juntos compartiendo un libro en particular con todo el mundo en nuestras discusiones sobre diferentes temas. También tenemos el viernes palabra de apoyo a las 7 de la noche. Siempre los viernes, palabra de apoyo. Uno nunca sabe qué es lo que va a suceder, pero siempre todos estamos garantizados un buen tiempo en Dios y su palabra. El sábado tenemos el primer fruto de oración entre las 12 del día y la una de la tarde, dándole a Dios el primer fruto de todo lo que tenemos, porque todo es de Él, dándole gracias a Dios. También el domingo tenemos la palabra general a las 11 de la mañana con nuestro pastor, Pastor Brian. Gracias por estar con nosotros esta noche. Y debajo ahí en su pantalla van a ver para dar generosamente a la iglesia el PayPal de la iglesia. Gracias por dar generosamente para seguir dándole la palabra al Señor por todos todo el mundo y compartiendo su amor y todo lo que le ha hecho por nosotros. También nuestra predicadora, evangelista y profeta, señora que se llama nuestra muy, muy estimada señora, mujer de Dios, Henrietta Strong. Ella está con nosotros y también para dar generosamente un regalo de amor también ahí en su pantalla van a ver el cash up de la señora la predicadora gracias por estar con nosotros sigue estando con nosotros que el sábado y el domingo también tenemos otros predicadores que Dios nos está llevando más alto y más alto en él y su palabra gracias en el nombre de Jesús te bendicimos amén 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 Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and as we know, hallelujah, 
there's some things that you can do in life, hallelujah, Jesus. And one of those things that you can do, that we can all participate in, is that it is offering time. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you see up on our screen, amen. Glory to God is a way to bless not only the speaker, but uh, about the word of the lamb as well. Amen. Glory to God. And please take the opportunity. Hallelujah. To bless the woman of God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Es tiempo de ofrenda. En esos momentos, todos pueden participar en esta parte de nuestros servicios. Ahí en su pantalla van a ver la ofrenda de la iglesia y también van a ver para dar para la señora predicadora de esta noche, la mujer de Dios. Ahí está el cash up de la señora, la profeta evangelista. So gracias por dar generosamente. Que Dios les bendiga por su generoso dad. Gracias. Amen. Gracias. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, God bless Amen. you all. Amen. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Greeting in the name of Jesus. Yes, Good evening. Lord. My name is mm -hmm. Evangelist Antoinette Outlaw. And I'd like to welcome you all to our 2021 virtual revival. I am legal. Word of the Land Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Bryant welcomes you all. We are a church without walls. Our revival special guest is prophetess Henrietta Strong. She is from Meriden, Connecticut. She is here to usher us, uh, to usher us up into God's presence tonight. And if you are visiting on our line, on our church for the very first time, either on Zoom, our Facebook, or any social media, YouTube, or on our conference line, we would just like to welcome you all tonight. We hope the fellowship and that the love you experienced tonight with us continue to grow through the rest of this week of our revival and we just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you heavenly father we have come together tonight to give you honor to give you glory to give you praise yes. Lord, we just want to thank you for bringing us together one more night for our revival but we hope that we'll be able to honor you to give you glory to make everything just right in your manner lord but we just want to go and touch Someone tonight, Lord, touch their hearts, touch their minds, touch their souls, touch their bodies in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we're coming right now. We're coming right now in your honor to bring forth a word that we have not heard before, Lord. And Lord, we just want you to go and touch the speaker of the house tonight, the prophetess in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch each and every one of us that is on this line, on our conference line. And even on all our social medias, Lord, we just want to thank you and give you the honor and the glory of bringing us together one more night. I am legal. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank Lord. you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank amen. you. Amen. 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 I am the good shepherd. Your words say, I've heard it elsewhere, that a flock of sheep knows its own shepherd's voice and won't respond to anyone else. Not even a different shepherd can lead you anyplace else. It's true of my relationship with you to Lord. I know your voice. I know when you're speaking to my heart, my mind, my body, and soul. I know when you're being quotes by other voices god says i know this wrong desires worldly values anxiety pride trust untrust and like thanks for helping me see the difference coax me to follow the sounds of your voice today and always and forever today i am legal legal to hear the voice of god Amen. Amen. 
And amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I'll be reading from Romans chapter 6, 15 through 23. My name is Amen. Chappelle. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. And I'm reading from the NIV version. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? By no means. Don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey. Whether you are slaves to sin, which leads to death, or to obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that you thought used to be slaves to sin. You have come to obey from the heart, the pattern of teaching that now claims your allegiance. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. I am using an example from everyday life because of your human limitations, just as you used to offer yourself as slaves to impurity and to ever increasing wickedness. So now offer yourself as slaves to righteousness leading to holiness. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. What beneath you did you reap at that time from the things you are now ashamed of? Those things resulting in death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness and the results internal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. 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 That was the reading Amen. from uh, Romans chapter 6, verses 15 through 23. Amen. Amen. Esta noche, la predicadora de la hora viene de el libro romano. Capítulo 6, versículo 15 hasta 23. Les repito, la predicadora de la hora, la evangelista, viene del libro de Romano, capítulo 6, versículo 15 hasta 23. Abren su palabra con nosotros y vamos a escuchar el Espíritu Santo por la evangelista y profeta Henrietta Strong. I would like everyone and would like to introduce to some and, and reintroduce to others someone very close to my heart. She has been serving the Lord for over 40 years plus. She's traveled all over the South and even locally, very sought after. She's a servant of the Lord, a woman of God, someone to whom I admire, respect a great deal, and she is a role model to those who know her, who love her, respect her. She's a pillar in her community and her family. And she has continued to give the gift of a prayer life to those who know her. She is steadfast in her walk. And she's just a very, very, very respected and well-loved woman of God. It is an honor for me to introduce her as she means a great deal to me. There are very few people that come into your life that change your whole life. I can say that Evangelist Prophet Strong has done that for me. From the first time that I met her, my whole life changed for the better. Under her tutelage and teaching, she gave me the gift of Christ, a prayer life, and a passion for the word of God. And it's amazing when someone gives you such a great gift, always teaching to read it for yourself. She's encouraging. And I hope one day to even be close to the woman of God that she is. She's my mother-in-law, 
She's a great woman of God. She's an evangelist. She's a prophet. I mean, it's amazing. She's humble. The beauty of how God has made her and shaped her is amazing. God uses her as a mouthpiece. And I can just go on and on and, and, and expand at the beauty of what God has created in her and through her and how he uses this mighty woman of God. We're all here to eat the word of God and I'm excited and I am thanking God that I have the privilege of introducing to all of you this evening, someone I so respect. And I will say this, man took my sight, God gave me vision. I've never seen an angel, but now I walk among them, disguised as real people. I introduce to you tonight, an angel in my life, evangelist, and prophetess Henrietta L. Strong. Congregation, prophet is strong, prophet is strong, congregation. Amen. Amen. I am really just touched um, because I know some of God's people that are here tonight. Um, even as I was given the invitation, I wept because I'm legal. Only thing I wept because I wanted it only to be where the Lord himself would receive glory. I didn't want anything. I'm just so touched by what was just said, but it's a touch of wanting to hide, not wanting to be where those that don't know me, you're hearing very kind words, but those that know me know that I kind of shy away from that because what he's doing for us, we are actually, God has us even with all that we have experienced, we're now experiencing another move where I was preparing for the service. I thought about how I would be preparing to go, to be in the church, to sit among the leaders and to be able to share with his children. And now this, it's what's happening now. On this move, it's a whole different foot from what we're used to. Because now it is everyone will see you exactly as you are. There's no area now, if there's a calling on you, this is the greatest time because it's not about impressing anyone. It's about God now. Things that you've endured, people that seem to have advanced, they, they, they were able to go forth and there were others to encourage them and uplift them. Now, darling, you're able to do exactly what those who now have to do what you're doing. Go through Zoom, go through Facebook, do things that we were not. As I saw the sessions, I was, I was smiling. <laughs> I was smiling <laughs> because we have a long way. I was thinking about your past. And as I remember the man of God with such a spirit of humility that when I went into his church on Congress Avenue, he would be working with his hand. It's amazing what God 
will bring back to you the important things, not what gathering up, what you have done, but the little things, the things that just make you smile now because you see the spirit of God on a man of God with such a spirit of humility, humbleness. Then I was blessed to be, and recently I just talked to Pastor Brian, but to see a humble man of God, a man that God is giving a vision that is fitting in to what God is doing, but still the spirit of humility. We look at the accomplishment many times of people who have went all around the world. Thousands of people under their care. And now, darling, they're doing what you're doing. You're operating now in an area that they got to operate in now. The true of who you are is going to show up now. And if anyone should show up, it should be him. You don't have a choir now. Okay? You don't have special guests as far as someone with gifts thing. Oh, y'all don't hear me. But now you can see the person, the person can see you. And if it's real, it's going to show. I'm not saying now is what God is literally showing for hurting people, for people who need to hear from. You can reach them now. Homes that are turned upside down can be reached now. Young women that don't know what it is to just stay true to God, you can reach them now. Young men that don't know which way to turn, you can reach them now. Mothers that need to give themselves to God, not sitting on the board, but give themselves to God, you can reach them now. Because there are a lot of mothers, as I thought about it, that needs to give themselves to God for ministry now, not them, but ministry, undergirding ministry now, encouraging leaders now. You don't need to be in the front. You need to be in the back pushing now. That's what we need to be doing. So we can't even get on a plane like we used to. <laughs> now you got to go through where everybody else is going. I was given permission, I was asked to go over into Africa. But God held me there, didn't let me go. Then I was asked to go to Hawaii, held me there, didn't let me go. Guess what, Donna? They are now doing what you're doing. Are y'all hearing me? It was nice. But I like what's taking place now. Because you're really getting to see the real people of God now. You are isolated. When now you, you're, you're shut in. Did they think they were doing something that we couldn't handle? Uh -huh. All the days that God had me shutting in. Oh, this is, this is who I am. All the time that I gave myself to God, is that different? Mm -mm. I'm in my space now. And I'm preparing for my time of departure. Doing with God, would you believe 76? And God's still saying, I got to move for you to do. At 76. And when I was thinking and I just got relaxed, Pastor Brian and I was sitting, hmm, okay. Now I just work with the family and minister to the children and, you know, just make sure they stay within the area of their commitment to Christ. 
And then here come a man of God. Tell mother. God said, I'm not through with you yet. I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> Ooh. I said, oh, Lord, because we've learned obedience from the time we were called. Obedience, going in revival, going into homes, sleeping on floors to reach a family. We know what it is to take a bus, get there exhausted and got to preach. Oh, y'all know. Old school, y'all know. Would it cost y'all? And still, but you're still here, darlings. There's a lot in you to give to those that need your help. They didn't, do you know all that time he was setting you up for now? Yeah, a lot of young people need to see the area of God sustaining. God keeping you. I just wanted to share that with y'all. You're on the right track, darlings. You're on the right track. I heard uh, evangelists speaking about the area of evangelists and prophet is, and I love where he's taking me now. He calls me mother. And he's made me a mother to all different races. I carry that more as a badge than anything else. <laughs> I'm comfortable where I am. I'm able to minister to my children. Darling, we're gonna leave here, be it known to us, but let us leave knowing what we have labored before God, has given them the best of us, I'm my savior. And whatever we had to go through, it was worth it. To where we are now. We can sit and see them go forth and pray for them. Mm. I'm comfortable where I am. If he opens the door for me to go out and God said, go, I'll go. But if he said no, I said, I'm comfortable where I am. Being able to call someone and say, what well, thus said the Lord, or to call them at the peak of what's going on to let them know what God is saying and that they get off, deliver it, set free from the powers of darkness. Okay? Oh, I love it. Pastor Brian, ah, for you to add me in. You know I'm old school. I am old school. Hallelujah. Okay, let's go into this. I am legal. Boy, did I wrestle with that. Because I was saying, Lord, as I was doing some study on Paul, I was saying, as great as Paul was, Paul always identified himself as a servant. I said, I like that, Lord. Or a slave. As great as Paul was, Paul only saw himself before the Almighty and with such humility. Greatness. We're still eating on what God gave to Paul. We're still eating on his encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus, being blind for three days. Okay, here Ananias don't want to even move. We've heard about this man. Then he came down, legal documents to bind up the saints. He was there when Stephen was stoned. He was in agreement with him. He got a letter and he went down to, he didn't just do it there where he was. He went down to bind up the saints. Do you know the enemy's a liar? Don't you know that God is still in control? No matter what he's trying to do now, he ain't doing that but pushing you to your destiny. He just made a mistake and let us live, didn't he? Couldn't take us out, could he? No matter what he threw at us. We are still here. 
And then the Lord is saying, oh, you're not through yet. Huh? <laughs> you are not through yet. Huh? I don't care who comes up. Now you kind of you kind of know those that really want to learn from you and begin to just get hold of all that God has given. Then you'll see the ones who didn't want to, don't even want to see what you went through. They're just eager to be up front. God done locked that down too. <laughs> God done locked that down, my dear, because if they can stand and uh, sit like y'all are. And just receive the, isn't that good though? Isn't that good? Because literally they got to sit. <laughs> they can't just jump up and move out. They can't be laying up, slump up in the chair, in the church chair, and they can't be just buying out the land. They now got to sit if they want from God. Huh? And the way things are going is going to drive them to God. You got to have what they need because they need what you got. <laughs> I am just too excited about the Lord. Romans 6 and 15. For sin shall not any longer have dominion over you since now you are not under the law as a slave, but under grace as subject of God's favor and mercy. We don't owe this old flesh nothing. Do you hear me, dear? Sweetheart, we can literally, and I'm looking at Sister Session, darling, we can just walk in our comfy clothes. <laughs> we can just walk around and then when we walk it around in our living room or wherever we are we can throw our hands up like you've been doing recently <laughs> we can throw our hands up in praise and then as the lord gives us to minister to those that are close to us he'll let us know exactly what they're going through and then we call them or we pray for them or god gives us what they need and then when they come and they come in our presence we can say what thus said the lord and literally they walk out of our presence without going somewhere else to get help Sin don't have dominions over us. We know what it costs us to be where we are. We willingly paid the price. We were made like someone forcing you to live right. No, my darling, we wanted what God had. You know we're old school. We came from seeing miracles. I can remember your husband sitting up on the organ and the anointing flowing as he had the choir. My God, Pastor, I can see you as you were over with them with the area of grace on you, Pastor Brian. And literally, who know today that we will be under the area of what God is doing through you? Oh, we're family. We rejoice because we're family. Y'all who have joined under this ministry need to know that you have a gift that God has literally assigned to you. God has given you a man to God with a heart after God, a man of God with the spirit of humility, God has given you, and a man with a vision. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> Woo, what are you going to do with it? You don't all say nothing. We know that when we came to the Lord, no matter how we were tied up and tangled up, when we got there in the midst of that service, that old generation, the way they prayed, we walked in there. I walked in under Pastor Redmond. And when I came into the service, she preached the word. I was delivered out of my chair to hearing the word. Tell me, oh, I got saved and I backslid. No, darling, I know to stay with God because God himself has sustained me all these years. Not that I didn't go through anything, but he kept me. He kept me to your time. I'm able to share with you. I'm old school. I'm now literally seeing your time. 
I'm seeing what you're seeing. I'm experiencing what you're experiencing. But the only thing is I'm walking in faith and what the world is saying, I'm hearing what he's saying. And what he's saying is above what they're saying. We know what it is to be in faith, to trust God. Pastor, you know, as you and your wife travel, you know that even in the midst when I was with y'all, that even when y'all had services, a lot of things that enemy has come and tried. But look at you. The enemy is angry. Look at you. And see what God has done for you. What we're going to do with this last time, what we're going to do is use everything God has given us. We're not going to worry about anyone literally say, I don't think they have uh, that too much of a vision. I know what God is saying. And he has to stay me. Darling, I'm seeing your time. You're talking, but I went my time, but I'm seeing your time now. And in my seeing your time, he had to have given me something because I'm still here. And I'm not on that, oh, I'm just trying to recover. Oh, I got involved with some stuff. And literally, because all that been going on, the pandemic really put me where I don't have no fellowship. Oh, let me tell you the whole time when he was setting us up for this time, we didn't even know. The time that he kept us quiet, kept us where we didn't go in a lot of places and didn't do a lot of that. We didn't know he was setting us up for now. I'm comfortable. Put my little mask on, go out, take care of my little shopping. Literally don't hang out. Then come on back in the house. I told a young person one time when they were talking to me, they were like, oh, I can. I said, my house isn't on fire. I said, I'm comfortable in my house. My house isn't on fire. Then I need to be out. Some people need to know God wants to discipline them. He wants them to give their self to him. Not in the things that are all caught up in the world. What do you have to give if you don't stay in the presence of God? What do you have to give? Only God can take this lady. If I was standing up, I've been all across the floor of the pulpit. That is who I am. <laughs> 76 and still moving. Are y'all hearing me? Still moving. God is the one who's sustaining me. God is the one that's keeping me. God is the one causing all these wonderful things. I don't like my darling. Do it look like I'm, I'm like, oh, poor event was strong. Oh, no. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Sin don't have dominions over me. Are y'all hearing me? What then shall we sin? Listen at this, let's go back a little bit. For sin shall not any longer have dominions over you. What then should we sin? Because we live not under the law, but under God's favor and mercy. Certainly not. Do you not know that if you continue to surrender yourself, to anyone to do his will, you are the slave of him. Don't we know the can't help it? We know what it, some people come in ministry and you talk to them and they go, Oh, pray for me. I just got this drinking problem. And this scene, I saw God evangelist session. I saw God send me in the south. There was an alcoholic that was able to use a billet. That alcoholic came one time, and when he came, he gave his life to Christ. He became the one to open the doors of the building so I can come in with the saints. He's still the same God. He's the same God. My mom, the Lord, do you want to minister to your mother? I went over to her house, Elder. When I went to the house, I said, Lord, don't let anyone be there. When I went there to the house, 
I took and went in the room. See, during that time, that's why you need to have that close connection with God and be in prayer because God will show you as he give you instruction what to do. Went over to the house and said, God, don't let anyone be there. When I got to the house, the Lord had my uncle, he left, and I went in the front room and said, Mom, where we go? Always respect. Even though we have family, we need to know how to respect one another. I said, Mom, can we go in your living room? We went into the living room, and as we got into the living room, I said, Mom, the Lord said this, and I told her what God said. And then when he gave me, Elder, he said, tell her this. Because of her becoming, she had abundance, but she was reaching at something of mine. And I said, why did you want that? I just wanted it, she said. The Lord said, tell her she had cancer in this part of her body. She would not be healed by anyone else, but by the rain on my hand. And when I said that, she broke and cried. Pastor, she gave her life to Christ. I was able to minister to my mom at the latter end before she went on to be with the Lord. See, we are still full of life, my dear. We still got a lot in us that we got to give out. We got to get those that say, I don't think you need to be so loud. Well, you won't invite me to your church because I'm so loud. You, if you're used to having quiet, and if you're used to being where uh, it is that we have this very, you know, this, this, this services, but we don't want that wild lady. I, well, you won't have me because I am who I am in God. And I do do what God tells me to do. Okay. So he's the one, darling, listen, listen. I wish I was in your pulpit. I don't have one ache in my body. It's not that it don't come and go, but when it comes, I tell it to leave. And I don't have anything going on today. Are y'all hearing me? Not one thing is going on today. Are y'all hearing me? Nothing's going on today. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Do you hear what I'm saying? I tell you, some people need to have where they say, you know what? If you are in a house all by yourself during this COVID, you need to have some wine come. We'll bring it to your door. No, you just need some Jesus. You don't need no wine. You need some Jesus. You need what God has given us to sustain us. Not that we need something to kind of just leave and make us drunk, make us feel like, and after it's over, we got a hangover. My God, sometimes I feel like running. Literally want to run. You know why? Because it's his strength that he's given. The more you talk about him, the more greater he is to you, the more people of God see. If she can move like that at 76, how about me in my 30s and 20s? Sometimes Pastor Brad, I pass them out. They sit there unable to move. So I get up with the mothers and I shuffle. What I mean by that, you just shuffle your feet across the floor. Huh? Because if you ain't gonna dance, you're not gonna give them glory and praise. I've never seen a time like we living in. People are giving themselves to everything, but the joy of the Lord is our strength. Is that right? Oh, yes. I'm legal, my darlings. I'm legal. Not only did I say I'm legal, but I'm free. Sweetheart, I'm free. Are you hearing me? I'm very careful, Pastor, who calls me and tries to give me anything. Why it is? Because some people take pleasure in what they're doing. Mother that's 80 years old called me, oh, I just wanted to talk to you. Mother, I'm so glad to hear from you. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. But you know, I had this dream. And in this dream, it was that I got a husband. I said, oh, no, Mother. I said, oh no. I said, it's time for our departure. <laughs> I said, it's time for us to go. No, they, I mean, 
That was then and this is now. Mother, you just preparing yourself to be with the Lord. That day is over. Now it's a time for you to keep yourself so that you can leave here and go and be with the Lord. That was straight out of hell. We sent it straight back to where it came. Mother, you're going to be fine. That mother listened. I prayed with her. And at the final end, her mother went on to be with the Lord. We have to. We can't allow ourselves to be bogged down. He freed us. Are y'all hearing? Sin don't have dominions over us anymore. Has no control over us. We don't hear people that come here, oh, you got to learn how to just help them. I'll help you, but when I see you digging too far in, I'm backing up. Because you ain't pulling me down in there with you. And then we have to make sure that people don't take our name and our reputation and brand it. Oh, my God. Where they'll say, I'm a part of so-and-so. And they go, and you doing something? Oh, well. Oh, no, oh, well. This old girl will tell you in a minute, if you're going to take and do what you're doing, count me out. I know how to put the fingers that they used to use to walk out. Then they don't want to stir the service. They put their hand up like this and tip out the door. I know when to tip out because you're not pulling me after so many years into things that I know that can destroy me. I want to be that when God speaks to me, I move and I can see. He said, Do you want to be fine tuned that when God says something to you, I'm outside? That's what he just, there's some things, uh, uh, Apostle God has been speaking to you. I'm speaking to Pastor Session now. There's some things recently God has been speaking to you about, and there's some things that you're holding up before God, and you're saying, God, I need to know if it's you or not. God is going to fine tune you in that area, and you're going to know it out of a shadow of a doubt it is him. God said, I've been hearing your prayer. I've been seeing the things that have been happening to you. God said, I'm mending, I'm healing, I'm pulling some things back together. God said, watch me do it. I'm going to do it for your son because when you could have thrown your hand, you held on to me. My soul, 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 my soul. Okay, it says, do you not know that if you continue surrendering yourself to anyone to do his will, you are a slave of him whom you obey? Is it a slave to him whom you obey, whether it be to sin or rather leading to the rather be the sin which lead to death or to obedience which lead to righteousness? righteousness, right standing with God. I'm no slave. Darling, I'm no slave. Isn't it what he's doing now? He's cleansing heart. Are y'all hearing me? Isn't it that he's saying, oh no, you're not going to hold on to something that somebody did to you. You're not going to let that keep you from obeying me, uh, coming in that place where I want you to be. I want you to walk in forgiveness. I want you to release those that are willfully did what they did to you. You're not going to stay there and allow, after going through all of this, that you're going to allow the enemy to rob you of what I'm about to do for you. Oh, I am free, my darlings. I am free. I am free. What anyone has done, if they've done it and they haven't gotten free, darling, I'm free. I can hug you. I can love on you. But listen, I won't go that way with you, but I'm going to hug on you and love you and stand at in the time when you're going to need help. God can trust. Oh, y'all don't hear me? God can trust you to be able, because just because someone is caught up don't mean that they're eternally lost. 
God can entrust you to be the very one to take and speak life to someone who's dying. The enemy is Satan. Satan comes to divide and separate. He comes to destroy, but he came to give us life. Isn't he a loving God? Isn't he one that forgives us when we fall short? Isn't he brings us back to him close and love on us? I was smiling mostly all day. If I wasn't smiling, I was crying because of some praise and worship that God had me involved in. Darling, mm -mm. he is doing it for us. Are y'all hearing me? He's doing, oh, I, I am this almost. Y'all got to pray for me. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. But thanks God, though you were once a slave to sin, you have become obedient with all your heart to the standing and teaching in which you were instructed and to which you were committed. Sweetheart, it was done. Someone said to me, when I first got saved, they said to me, what do you want from God more than anything else? I said, I want his love. They said, you want to suffer? Yes. You have to love and you will suffer. But I want you to know that the word said God is love. He loved us in the midst of all of our foolishness. All the areas that even when we weren't obedient to him like we should. The areas when he instructed us, we didn't carry it out correctly. He loved us when he fell, we fell on our knees and repented. Listen at me, darling. We have to now give it all we have. We have to go after God with everything now. We can't allow, and I, and I mean to the point that I'm even separating folks. Some people have not committed themselves to God like that. They still want to play around the edge. They still want to do things and say things and literally insulting things and behavior that does not honor God. I have to back away. Oh, no, say. I have to back away because if I don't, I'll be destroyed. The words of the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. I, I, I was looking over some cards that is coming from my son, who God has been using in the prison. And as I look over those cards, I see my son who's ministering now, and because he went in as a child, that their children now that's in there calling him dad, because of his age, no. Because of his experience, yes. Because of his commitment, yes. It's God that's doing this. He calls me and I listen to him. Why do I listen to him? Because he can speak now. He can say what thus said the Lord. And when God gives him something, I humble myself and receive it from him. Why? Because who can be incarcerated in a prison and still be free? For you don't hear me and still be free that men that would tell me bishop's sons would tell me that they themselves was put in there with him and said i've never seen a young man pray like he prayed he said then after he prayed he would get up and shout and he said don't worry, mother, about your son. He's, he's being taken care of. I've seen him have where he would work. And then those that would send him things, he would look on those who parents or family don't have to give. And he'd look out for those. Oh, saints. I said to him, I don't know when. But I said, I receive what God has given you. I don't know when, but I do know God is using you. 
Young man, I met his mom and his dad. Young men of all color are calling me mom now. Now they're giving me their number so I can send them cards. Yes, I'm going to, one young man is Spanish. His message was in Spanish. I'm going to have someone read it for me because he, they said, I said, they run to him and say, where's the mother? How's mother? And they haven't seen me, my dear. Are you hearing me? They haven't seen me. But what you put on your children? They see what you're putting in your children. I know as God is using this couple, this session, beautiful kids, beautiful. God has given your beautiful kids, gifted. God is going to move in your behalf. There's a prayer request, mother, it's on your heart. And you've been bombarding God about it. You've been talking to each day to your side. God said, I'm moving, but not at the pace you want me, but I'm moving in such a way. He said, but I shall move and bring them out. He said, I will break those bondage and those strongholds, and I will bring them out. You stay in my presence. God said, continue, give yourself to me and watch my hand move. Am I yet though? Shame I. May shame I, your foe, the God say. Shamato, Shamaka. Father, I thank you and I praise you and I glorify you. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. You have a beautiful smile. This sister right here with the glasses, she just smiles all the time. I was on on Monday, but we had a little problem with the. Um, what we have our equipment, but you keep smiling. You keep smiling. Your smile radiates. Your smile covers. Your smile covers. Your smile covers. God Himself, as you continue to give yourself to Him. There is some things that you want God to do. It's just on your heart. It is so heavy on your heart. But you've been talking to God about it quietly. God said, I heard you. He said, then I told the prophet. He went looking for God in the cave. And he got there all his other experience. But it was that still small voice. Are you hearing my darling? You hear me? It's real. The spirit of God is real. He's rescued you. You hear what I'm saying? He, you hear what I'm saying? He rescued you. I don't know you, but he rescued you. He sent his angel and literally rescued you. I don't know you, but what he's doing for you is so precious. You continue to stay on the wall. You stay there before God. And after a while, God is going to show you because you've been talking to him about some specific things. It isn't like some of you just go to God and there were some specific very specific things that you talk to God about. And God is going to move. Do you hear me? You believe that? You believe that? Oh yeah, darling. I don't say it unless God is saying. He's going to move for you. Do you hear me? I see something already starting. Okay? Already starting. Already starting. God, I need you. see the Lord, I am so full. I am so full. It looks like I'm overflowing. And it looks like in the overflow, it's like, God, I'm still not getting all I need because literally I'm comfortable. I'm being used. 
I'm being asked to do this and that. That's you, sunshine. That is you there. That is you, that is you. I place those gifts in you, but I place it in you. Even as you have been tested and tried and the giftings that you have, God I wanna heal you of some past pain, of some past disappointments. God I, I wanna move on you. And he said, listen, my dear, what he's going to do, he's going to do it not only for you, but for your daughter too. Are you hearing me? There's some things recently that have come up concerning your daughter. God said, hold what she said before me. She needs to know that her step where she's making now is not the right step. But I want her to be able to know that the God in you has reached an area in her to cause a transformation in her life. God in her mouth, not through her intelligence, not through her intellect, but God in sunshine's life begin to move on the core of areas that she like, oh God, I want to be able. God said, I'm using you. But if you rest in me, he said, I bring you forth. But he said, you've got to now release a lot so that he can bring you forth. And in doing, yes. Shake your head if I'm telling the truth here. You have a way that you can reach so many, but then you have to be the one to be in the presence of God and be broken. When the Lord spoke that to me at Pastor Redmond, he said, are you willing to be broken? I didn't understand. I walked from Spring Street all the way past Dixwell going into Hammond. I walked because I didn't have fun. But I knew that if I didn't stay with God, I would have been alone. I went through something I didn't cause myself, but I had to go through. I chose God over everything else. And I don't regret it. He healed me. I'm at peace. And he wants to do. You are gifted. There's so much in you. And you have a place now. And you, you there is the pastor's session. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? I met you there. Huh? Yes, I did. And when I said, you, you wanted to come with me, I said, I had to speak to them. I did not in any way disrespect them. And look at you here. Look at Pastor Brian was there and he's here. And look at the same. You see how God does things in such an orderly way? You hear me, dear? There's greatness in these people. We gotta see beyond everything else and see what God has put within them. <laughs> that many times, Pastor Brian, those precious treasures are hidden. We have to have an eye to see. Many times, I went to visit an apostle in South Carolina, and as I sat there, I heard the man of God come forth, and it was sparks shooting off him. Young in the Lord, me, but saw the sparks shooting off him. And then he said, Pastor, he said, now I'll give y'all my message. I was blown away. I thought he was doing it all that time. I 
thought when he was speaking, the power of God was on him. It was like shock. I mean, like electricity. I mean, shooting off of this man before. Pastor, look out for what God is going to do as you walk in humility. I mean, yes, sir. let no one push you. Continue to walk in the order God has is taking you. Let no one push you ahead with ideas. The same apostle had seven churches. One gentleman came in and tried to show him how to make money. And when he did that, he lost all of them down to one or two churches. I went to see him. I'm not hearing. I know. I went to see him, thinking that I would, again, before coming back to Connecticut, be in his presence. Went to a service. This gentleman was setting up. We got to be careful when people come in. We got to be very careful. He came in. He was, I mean, excellent in his speech. And I said, I came to hear Apostle King. And when I said that, the gentleman got up and began to speak. I was disappointed because I really came to hear the apostle. But I wasn't rude at any of that. But when he saw that I wasn't becoming on board, the Lord reminded me, he said, nothing come under the blood. He called me up to lay hands on me. And I just literally put my hand up and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Instead of me getting angry, he got angry and exposed himself. See, we need the wisdom of God. Y'all hear me? I told you I'm legal. <laughs> I told y'all I'm legal and I told you I'm free, okay? So when he said to me, why did you come here? I quietly said, to be with the apostle and to praise God, to lift up people. He turned, I'm gonna lay hands on you. And when he did, the Lord told me, as I shared, nothing come under his blood. He sent his wife outside to get some special oil. That's why we need to be in God. There are people who operate in the area and we need to know them when they come into our presence. We need to know, we need to discern. We need to hear God. So when she didn't come back, he said, I don't need no or I could lay hands on you like myself. And I said, the Lord said, don't you act up. <laughs> don't you act up. I put my hands up like this and he took and he mocked my head with a cross and he laid his hand praying. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was so dry. It was literally I just went through the motion because if I'd act up, he would have counteracted and said, I told you that's why I had to break her. So after he said, what are you doing here? That's how angry he got. I said, I came to be with Apostle Keith and to lift up. He was trying to impress the bishop that was there with his wife. He turned to the bishop and said, Bishop, can I pray for you? The bishop said, mm -mm, no. He looked at the bishop wife and said, can I pray for you? The wife said, no. This man had seven churches. This bishop, beside Bishop Path Apostle Keith, who lost down to two. This bishop did not allow him to go to his other churches. You have a good name. You have to guard it. People are right on your name. 
I know so and so. And if they're not deserting ground, they'll bring them in because they're connect and say, I know. So you pray about all your decisions that you made. I was able to go back to Apostle Keith's service. And when I went, there was a woman of God from Florida was there. And this gentleman was still sitting up in the pulpit with the apostle. And I sat there through the service. And as I sat, she came down. I said, oh, Jesus, here we go again. And literally, she called me out. And when she called me out, she was straight. She said, the devil hates you. I said, I know. But she was straight. But he lost all of his shit. Precious people, listen. This is a time now that you see, I was like, Lord, I don't know. I'm so active that I won't be just sitting there looking at them and literally my daughter said, Mom, keep your face straight. I'm all over the place. I'm glad she's not here. <laughs> She would have probably been upset with me. I'm all over the place because literally when it comes to God, I'm free. My mom legal and I'm free when it comes to God. I appreciate each one of you. Thank y'all so much for having this mother um, to come and just share with you. Had a precious sister. She might be on that's from South Carolina. I had another precious um, daughter that's on and some other than my daughters that are from uh, Texas that are on too. So pastor, we have family. I love ministering. I know I'm looking at the session, love ministering to my children. I love it, sitting in their presence and they literally sitting and hearing the word, call them or they'll call me and on Sunday morning because literally I'm at peace. Where they are, they can't go to church. So it's just an honor for me to be able, mom, ministering to them, okay? And with such respect, they give me such respect. We do our scriptures and do our, you know, the prayer. and it, it, It's just a blessing. I'm happy y'all can see that. <laughs> I am happy and free, free, free. Did y'all hear me say free? I am free because what God is doing now is you're going to show forth, you're going to be real or not real. You're going to know the difference between the real and those that are not. We just make sure we pray for everyone and just love on them because there are people out there need each other help. And when the church open again, y'all are so beautiful. I'm looking at y'all. <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful? I'm, I'm going to see you again, face to face. More than just this. You hear me, Sister Session? Okay. I appreciate every one of y'all. We love y'all. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. And of God, you're doing a great job. And only God knows all the people that he's going to bring forth. And it's real. You're real. You're real. You are real. Give my love to your wife. I, I was just blown away when I heard you when we talked because of the humility, the spirit of humility. I've seen it and it's real. It's rare. But I pray now, Father, that as your spirit rests upon your son, that the gifting that's inside of him, that area of God that only you know about, let it be, oh God, that you have him so in tune that even when he gets up, he knows if there's any attack during the day, or any attack 
during the time against his family or the church. Move upon your son with such revelation, with great insight. And then God set those that really want a brother in Christ, place them in the area, not to lord over him, but to appreciate him. Let those that are working with him see the gift of what you have given them that they would appreciate him. Let even as they think, let it be as they bless him and his family. I pray for his wife now in the name of Jesus. I speak to her now in Jesus' name. I speak to her now in Jesus' name and strengthen her now. I send a word to her now. In Jesus' name, touch your heart now in the name of Jesus. And God, I, mm -hmm. I thank you. I praise you, Amen. Mondi Shava, Rondo Shebe, Kando Shata, Ledio Shaka, Ledai Akoto, Ledia Shete, for it shall be done. For you, my son, in Jesus' name, the prayers that you've been praying. Hallelujah. We love you. We love you. We're going to just turn this back over to Pastor Brian. I didn't want to act up past him and still did in a little way. <laughs> so y'all just bear with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Woman of God, hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. You can act on all you want to, amen, glory to amen. God, hallelujah. <laughs> you have your way, glory to God. I think amen. I noticed that my daughter's Michelle is on. I thank hallelujah. God for her and her sister. Amen, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God. God hallelujah. bless you all. thank you, thank you for having me. Oh, glory to God. No, thank you. Thank you for, for being being with us. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You don't know, but the one you said with the smile, amen, with the glasses on that's thin there, that's amen. That's my sister, amen. Ooh, glory to God. Wonderful. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, amen. God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, oh, boy. Her smile is even greater now. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, thank Jesus. You. I, I, I'm, what can I say? I could say a lot of things in, in this in this in this world. I could say a lot of things, but I just want to say I thank God to the woman of God for taking the opportunity to let God use her in, in being that mouth, I'm gonna call you that mouthpiece of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That that sees sees into the life. Amen. And, and as I said before, amen, you've seeded into my life, amen, and told me some things, amen, that I, I still keep in my, my head, amen. You told me, he said, is when I started to go, you said, God said, I push it down until you fill back up, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I remembered all those things, amen. Glory to God. And I want to thank you, woman of God. I want to thank you. I, I, I can't even say enough. Amen. For what for, for allowing God to use you as such. Amen. I, I, I understand who you are and whose you are. Yes. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. And I don't take you with any light stick. Amen. Glory to God. You know, when, when you say something that's is, is I, I know it, I know it's coming straight from the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. And I thank you for it. And um, I'm not going to hold up. I'm going to turn this back to you so you can introduce some people and even send us home if you need to. Amen. Glory to God. I'm trying to see Sister Michelle. Are you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come and mute your, unmute yourself and say something to us. Hallelujah. Please say something. Praise God. Glory to God to everybody. God bless you. I'm just happy to be up here. I have my sister and her five kids here yeah. and myself and my two kids and we just enjoy the word. Yeah. And um, she's a spiritual mom in my life. She has been in my life for years when I first joined Wayfaring Ministry. And she has been there when I was in the single class. 
She's been there for me when I got married. Amen. And she also has been there when my husband passed away. And she's my inspiration. I told her today, I want to walk like you. I want to talk <laughs> like you. I can't be like you because I have to be who God called me to be. But I want to be just like you because you are truly a diamond in the rough. You are what God called you to be. And she's not only an inspiration to me, she's an inspiration to everybody who's connected to me. And I just thank God for her allowing me to come on tonight. I was having a little difficulties with my iPhone when you kept speaking to say, hello, hello. I was trying to talk back, but it, it, something was wrong with the sound. Yes. But I said, devil, you're not going to let me not be able to get on this line tonight because Amen. I know there is a word. And I'm just excited to be here with everyone tonight. I was very blessed. And I just want to say thank you. Amen. Glory to God. Praise Hallelujah. We thank God. As, and I know I'm going to hear from my, my precious one's uh, sessions. Because, you're, I mean, you're coming up on Sunday, aren't you? On Sunday? Prophet? Yes. Also. Will yes. I hear you, Sunday? Yes. Can oh. you hear? Yes, now yes. I can. Yes. I was just pushing. <laughs> that was a night, I tell you. Oh my God. My God. I appreciate I, I couldn't stop smiling. Thank you, God. Amen. Hallelujah. I could not stop smiling. Amen. Powerful. Powerful. Oh my God. Powerful, Powerful woman of God. We've known one another for years. Yes. Yes. Being over on Congress Avenue. Yes. See all and then to be. Yeah. Able to be with y'all over here in Maryland. Yes. To yes. See what God has done. I mean, this has been some precious, precious time. Thank you, Glory God. To so to see, Amen. I couldn't stop smiling when I saw y'all. <laughs> yes, my dear. Y'all were looking we were waiting too. <laughs> Listen here, that when y'all were looking all distinguished, I was up there looking up. <laughs> <laughs> we just celebrated 52 years of marriage. Oh, God. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. God. Yeah, God. 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 God be the glory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lord is good. Yes. Oh, Y'all look good. Praise God. Oh, God. Good. Yeah. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Lord. We're looking. We're looking for Lord. Sunday. We're looking oh, for Sunday. Lord. All right. Glory to God. Amen. Wait, 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 wait. You're being quiet yeah. on us, huh? Glory to God. Ma'am? Apostle, are you being quiet on us? <laughs> a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm full. I'm full. Because yeah, man, man. Uh, use you as the panel tonight. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm looking forward when God will allow us to not only see one another, but mm -hmm. one another. I know that God is going to do some awesome things. Thank you. God. Both, both of you walk in such grace. And I thank thank God for it. I know that y'all went through a lot. Thank you. You look wonderful. Thank you. It Thank you. Wow, what we go through. It doesn't allow it. The enemy can't have no glory out of this. Mm -mm. God mm -mm. takes us through. He Amen. Just, he, he can't deal with it. Yes. <laughs> Amen. He can't My deal God. with it. So we're looking forward to see. Man, I took over your, your station, didn't I? <laughs> you do whatever you do whatever God pleases to do. You in charge. <laughs> oh Lord. I thought when I got up there, I'm gonna Michelle, I thought I was gonna be um, you know, saying, Oh God, oh got up here and act like I was at home. You <laughs> are. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone. I do. And um, yes, I don't know if my children, they're in Texas. I don't even know if they, uh, I know they, they tune into it because my daughter Isis is there. I don't know if we can get her in. Um, man of God, I don't really know. Sunshine mm -hmm. is grinning and grinning. If you have anything to say, I mean, you're smiling from one end to the other, darling. Yeah. I love to hear you, Ma. This, oh, this, I appreciate that. I, I, do, I'm, I miss you. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Glory to God. Okay. Yes. Lord. Okay. 
Strengthen our God in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. He knows all things right there. He knows all things. Amen. Lord, in, in the area God is making you. God is one making you. Okay. And in the midst of being made, sometimes the, the making is so hard. Yes. Then it's the time we're living in. Anna. Be in your place that yeah. when anything arise, come. See, I told you when I first met you at the session, I said, your eyes is your ears. Mm -hmm. you remember me saying that to you? Your yeah. eyes is your ears. Yeah. Yes. So it's doesn't, the enemy can't use that because uh. that sharpens you in your hearing. Mm -hmm. Now, what he's going to do as you continue to give it, God is the one. Yes. Oh, I don't know like what's God. happening during mm. the time with this service, but I can tell you one thing I'm seeing a whirlwind going around you. My God. God loosing some areas. I see making day. Thank you, God. Come on, go, send I. And listen, my darling, it will happen. Sometimes we're looking for this big explosion, but God quietly yes, amen. makes us. Why? Because when he brings us forward, it is such a beautiful display that he brings forth. And mm -hmm. people go, but I remember what God is going to do for you. They're going to say, I used to know who she is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. And they're going to deal with you, what he's doing. Mm -hmm. You continue to let him do it. That's all you do. Yield mm -hmm. to the Lord. Yeah, oh, no. yielding to the Lord, yeah, yeah. and He's yeah. going to bring you forward. And Thank then you, He's Father. saying there's some areas that He's been dealing with you recently about you, some things that He's going to pull together, oh, yes. and He's oh, yes. going to cause to happen for you. Watch Him do it. Hallelujah. Amen. Watch Him do it. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He's Hallelujah. just. He's just. He keeps me um, mm. to myself. I can't be all over. Oh. And I can't be under. Mm. I'm also my daughter. And he keeps me in my room. Thank you, God. I go down and deal with in whatever I talk with her. I'm in my room most of the time. So I'm not in the house with her, but I'm in my room. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. So when it's, it's getting like this now, that I'm upstairs, she downstairs. But when God deals with me, he deals with her. So Amen. when we come together, before she go to work, she said, what did God say? And da, da, da. I said, what did God say? Da, da, da. And that's how he's doing us now. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. It's, it's guess what, Pastor? Because, see, she got to be on point when he takes me home. Yes. Now. Yes. She has to be on point. Are yes. you understanding me? She has to know and has to be where she don't stumble over stuff or don't That's know right. who the Holy Spirit or people who are mm -hmm. She's going to have to know. So what he's doing, Pastor, he just let me enjoy the trip. Amen. 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 I'm enjoying. You're going to be fine. Should I come to join? Yeah, you're gonna be spying sometime. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing a good God, job. Yes, of yes. Praise mm. Him because yes. of what God is about to do for you. Praise yes. Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you. So Y'all better get me off. Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 It's a spiritual daughter. Um, this is Sandra. Sandra? Hello. Sandra? Hi, Ma. How are you? She came how many years that God had brought. I went in a revival, and as I was in the revival, 
what the Lord did was save Sandra in the revival. In that revival, the Lord told me, he said, step back. And I stepped back. He said, because I want all the glory. He didn't want me as the people lined up. He said, step back. I want all the glory. I stepped back. And as I stepped back, the people went down like dominoes. Mm. Sandra was there. Mm. Sandra moved in with me, moved mm -hmm. back to Connecticut, and it went back and came back mm. and has been with me ever since. Mm. My God. Wow. Mm. That's my story. Mm -hmm. That was when you came to be with me. How old? I'm 17. 17. And how old, Jesus, should I ask? Oh, my gracious. 53. <laughs> Fifty-three. Amen. 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 God be the glory. Glory to God. How old are you now? Oh my gracious! <laughs> Fifty-three. <laughs> She's been with me all that time. Yeah. Wow. She's a daughter who's just literally. Mm -hmm. She's a new God. So mm. I am spiritual. <laughs> Okay. Amen. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Isn't it wonderful? So mm -hmm. you got all my love. Thank I, you. I caught you at eight o'clock. <laughs> Did catch me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see. I enjoying it. <laughs> this Amen. is Pastor Brian. You. And you know Pastor Session them, don't you? Yes, I do. That's why I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're sunshine. and sunshine. Where does she go? Yes. I saw America. her. I saw her at the top. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for everyone. Isn't he awesome? Amen. 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 Is there anyone else that is able to speak? Anyone else? So we don't want to hold up because we have another service. I'm gonna Thank you, Jesus. So you know, when when that um, this computer went out on us, literally just walk on and went upstairs. I didn't really get upset. I just walked up. And so I would <laughs> let the enemy come in. Upset. Nice. I appreciate everything, my daughter. Y'all are just wonderful people. Thank you all so much. Amen. 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 You're welcome. Amen. You're welcome, woman of God. Amen. 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 Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Isn't it wonderful? Hallelujah. Amen. How the woman of God just brought forth a word to just impact each and every one of us on this line. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, hallelujah. I, 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 once again, I said I can't thank you. So I'm going. I'm, I'm just going to to uh, just do this for you, Father God, in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus. Everything that she has poured out, Father, I ask you that you pour it back in, Father God, from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, Father. God, I'm asking you, Father God, that even though I know that her man is strong, God, I'm asking you that overflowing of rivers upon her, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Everything, Father God, that she's moving and doing, Father, God, I'm asking you to continue to bless it, Father God. And God, I thank you, Father God, for what she is and who she is and who's. And I ask you that you continue to bless her in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Let the church. Let them say amen.